Hey everyone, Dan here. Let me give you a quick tour of the Resize module in On One Photo Raw 2018. The Resize module is designed to help you crop and resize your photos to get them ready for output, usually for making a big print. Let me give you a tour and then I'll show you how to use it. The tool well is located on the left and it's pretty simple. The only real tool is the crop tool and then the tools for changing your view and moving your preview around. There's a preset browser which contains presets based on different types of printers and different paper types. We'll talk about using those in a second. The middle is the preview of your photo. And then over here on the right, you'll see a section for the pixel dimensions. This will show you the current dimensions and size of your photo. Then below that is the document size. This is how big the print will be when you print it out based on the current resolution. And then there's more settings below and we'll get to those here as we get to work. Now, as I mentioned, resize is for getting your photos ready to print. The easiest way to do it is to start with the preset. You know the size of print that you want to make and where you're going to send it to. I know that I'm going to send this photo out to a photo lab rather than printing it on my own printer. So I'm going to go to the photo lab category and then I just pick the size that I want to create. I want to make a 20 by 24 inch print. So I'll select that option. This will automatically add the crop box for me. You have to remember that a 20 by 24 doesn't match the proportions of my original photo. That's one of the important things that you can change in resize. It allows you to crop, resize, and sharpen all at the same time. You can see how it's loaded my crop tool with the correct size, 24 by 20, at the resolution that's needed for printing to my photo lab, 300 pixels per inch. Now I can simply recompose the photo inside of the crop box to make it pleasing. I'm just going to scoot it over here a little bit and make it a little bit smaller. That way I can put the church right on that one third line. Once you've got your crop set the way you want, hit the apply button. Now you'll see the new size. We've gone up almost 250% in size. And the document size section shows the 20 by 24 inch size. Under the settings pane, you can control what method is used for resizing. Most of the time, you're going to choose the genuine fractals algorithm. If you're working on a portrait or you're going down in size, you might pick the on run resize portrait option instead. You can then adjust the texture and the threshold and the smoothness. Most of the time, I'm just going to use what comes up in the presets for this. We'll talk more about how to adjust those in the advanced video. Below that is the sharpening pane. Sharpening helps compensate for increases in size and loss in print quality when you print out on different types of paper. Again, this will be automatically set depending on your printer paper type option. Whenever you adjust either the settings for the settings pane or sharpening or film grain, you want to make sure you zoom into 100. I'm going to click on the 100 option. This will zoom in and actually show me what the photo will look like at 100% size. You can then increase the sharpness to taste. The film grain option will add a film grain texture over your photo. This is useful for large areas of continuous tone to smooth them out so that they will dither and print correctly on large format printers. The tiling option will break your photo down into multiple tiles if you want to do mosaic printing. We'll talk about that and the gallery wrap feature for adding gallery wrap wings if you're printing on canvas in the advanced features video. At its most basic, all you need to do is select the size you want to print and crop your photo to match. When you're ready, hit the done button. Resize will take the original photo, creates a TIFF or PSD copy of it depending on your preferences, crops it, uses the patented genuine fractals algorithm to resize it and gives you a new photo ready to print. Thanks for watching.